People who got sent to God by their own pets. Part 2. A man named Norman Buwalda actually owned a 650 pound tiger. See now, I don't know what was going on through my man's head to motivate him into getting a damn tiger. Like, why in the hell would you want to adopt this thing? On purpose. This motherfucker will pimp slap you right back into your mama's womb. Look at this motherfucker's biceps. That's some shit you really want to mess with? I don't care how lonely I ever get. I will never get a damn tiger. Getting a damn tiger is like asking for an invitation straight to God. Who the hell is going to tell this motherfucker what to do? The moment you sign them adoption papers, motherfucker, it's adopting you. Here's how the story went. Norman owned a tiger in his backyard in its barn. The tiger already had a bad reputation in the neighborhood. It attacked a 10-year-old boy sending him to the hospital with no life-threatening injury. The whole neighborhood tried to get rid of the tiger by calling the police. When the police got there, Norman was no longer a part of this earth because he forgot to feed the damn tiger and became the next meal.